Joey's 31 Days of Horror. Hi there, I'm Joey Hollywood, and this is Day 2 of 31 Days of Horror. Today's movie will be Night of the Living Dead, the 1990 remake. Now, it's also called George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead, which I've always took issue with because George A. Romero did not direct it. He was a producer. Tom Savini was actually the director of this movie, and I think he was the perfect person to take the job. Now, let me talk about the actual movie. It's pretty much almost the exact same thing as the original 1968 classic. However, I gotta say, this has to be the best remake of Night of the Living Dead, and not just the best remake of Night of the Living Dead, but just one of the better remakes in general. This is a remake that I think other movies should take example from. It sticks true to the original, but yet does its own thing as well, where you don't feel like you're watching the exact same movie, but it's similar enough that you can enjoy it. Without giving too much away, I want to talk about one thing that this movie does, and it does really well. It plays on the fact that you've actually seen the original. So, like... It'll build up to something that the original builds up to, goes in a completely different direction, but yet acknowledges what it was building up to. And it actually just feels right in the context that they do it in. Without getting in too much of specifics, because a lot of it I feel would be spoilers, there's a scene in the movie where, in the original movie, where a girl attacks her mother with um, a garden shovel. Now in the remake, the girl just attacks the mother. Instead of just leaving it at that, it acknowledges the original sequence by having blood splatter on a garden shovel. Now, I, a lot of people may not have liked that. I'm not really sure. But I liked it specifically because I wasn't seeing the same thing over again. But I was also having here, oh, here's a hint of what was in the original. And unlike other remake movies that kind of do this same thing, I don't feel like I actually have to see the original to get that. Where this one, I feel like it holds up as its own, and it also holds up as a remake. So I can go back and forth between the original and the remake and still enjoy it because of these reasons. Now I want to talk about casting Tony Todd as Ben. Okay, I love Tony Todd. I love him in whatever he's in. I couldn't think of a better choice for Ben in the early 90s. He's just perfect for this role. I think he's every bit as good as Dwayne Jones, perhaps even better. All in all, I usually enjoy Tony Todd as an actor, and just to see him in this was a real treat. Now I want to talk about Barbara. I really like what they did with Barbara in this movie. In the original movie, she was a character, she got the ball rolling in the film, and then she handed off the main character position to Dwayne Jones. In this film... She plays more of a presence, where in the original one, she was catatonic. She was in shock. Where in this version, she is in shock, but she handles it much differently. She goes a little nuts. She wants to kill everything, and she just she goes just crazy. And I felt that was a good, a good departure from the original. Because in the original, a lot of people thought that was sexist, that she went into shock. I don't really think so. I, she, she went into shock. She just saw her brother get killed in front of her. People will handle things differently. Where in this one, she just becomes kind of warlike in a way. It's, I, I, I really liked how they did that. Well, that's my review of the 1999 remake of Night of the Living Dead. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Like my official book page. Stalk me on the Twitter. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.